<laughs> what Tony say? Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Undo this hurt you call when you walk out the door and walk down my life. Uncry these tears. I cried so many nights. Unbreak my heart. No. Hey, girl! I hear you out there, Tony. What you talking about? You done, you wish you would have did more drugs and stuff and all that and party more. Look, I'm a PK kid, too. You ain't missed the damn thing. <laughs> Trust me, you ain't miss nothing. I was a sneaky kid, and I start doing them things a lot earlier than I should have. And I'm so glad I got them out of the way um, early. And I'm not saying that to rub your nose in it. But it's a lot of things these kids is doing today. I'm glad we ain't doing Now, girl, you know good and well some of these things that these kids is doing today. You should be glad something stopped you. <laughs> you should be glad. I'm sorry. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the damn crazy house with me, your host, Khadija. Today, I'm going to shift the gears a little bit, y'all, because it's just so much stuff going on, and um, a lot of people are hurting. A lot of people don't want it uh, here no more, and myself included. There are days when I don't even want to hear Anything political, in fact, that's most days, uh, when I worked in politics and volunteered in uh, politics and was real instrumental in uh, organizing people to vote, I got put in jail. So ever since then, I was when I saw how the game worked, I was like, damn. So if anybody tell you your vote does not matter, um, it does. It does. Trust me, it does. And so does your right to own a gun. But that's neither here nor there. Today I'm going to switch the gears just a little bit. And I want to talk about um, astrology signs. I don't know there are some of you who believe in astrology. Some of y'all think it's a, a nutty science. And, you know, people that believe in astrology are five eggs short of a dozen. However, let me tell y'all something. Before y'all had these therapists out here <laughs> who dare tell you what's wrong with you, <clears throat> when people had issues and problems, they went to the shamans and the medicine men and the people who charted the stars to get a better understanding of what was happening with their lives. And the people believed that if you fell up under certain time and spaces when the stars align themselves in a certain alignment, that um, that would influence your personality. And I, for one, believe it. So in case y'all want to know where I stand on it, I believe in astrology. Yes, I do. And I think there's attributes, is uh, truth in all of these, uh, truth postulates in all of these disciplines. Um, you just have to, um, you know, put yourself on the esoteric path, basically. And if you're not spiritual and you, this stuff is going to go right over your head and you're not going to be with it. But for those of us that get it, we get it. Those of us that don't know nothing wrong with it. Just see. You. I guess I'll see you next lifetime. Uh, anyway. It's this It's an interesting look at the people you know in terms of their sun signs, okay? The sun represents the quality of a person's spiritual radiance, okay? That's the sun. I am a sun sign. I'm fire. <laughs> if they give a spirit, if they give their spirit the opportunity to, to radiate, um, and that happens by, and that's how you express your sign, okay? If you give your spirit the time and the opportunity to radiate, 
it will express its sign. When a person's spirit is being expressed, they will show strong characteristics of their sun sign. Positive when feeling good and negative when having difficulties. Positive or negative, the whole personality is holding together and their light is shining, even though it may be, feel uncomfortable to others, but their light is shining. And, you know, and that's what really irks me about a lot of people who find themselves in this pseudo or you know, religious, uh, or I want to say religious, I'm sorry. I mean, um, a spiritual um, walk. A lot of them, when they say keep it positive, they think that that means they never uh, get angry um, or they don't ever, like when uh, Michelle Obama said, when they go high, we we'll go low, we go high. Um, it doesn't mean uh, to allow people to walk on you like a doormat. Um, and a lot of people think that if you're positive, that means you cannot have anything negative come into your life. Otherwise, something is wrong. And I disagree with that wholeheartedly. I contend that you need negative and positive. Whether you like it or not, you got to learn and love the negative just as much. Because if you want to get out there and you want your car to roll, you, you look at your battery. You don't just got no positive post. You got a positive and a negative post. And it is those two components together that make that car fire up and get going down the damn road. Am I right? Okay. So we're not going to dismiss negative attributes as if they're just something that we all don't have. I mean, if you look at dirt and you wash your clothes because you say, oh, they dirty. Ugh, look at the dirt on your clothes. Come on in here. Let me wash your clothes. Let need I remind you that every flower that you see, the most beautiful is flowers in the world need dirt to grow. Especially a beautiful rose. And it'll grow through the concrete. But it needs dirt. So each one of these elements and attributes, what I'm saying is you have to find it in your heart to appreciate it, to not resist it, to go in it. And deal with it, as Natalie say. Deal with it. Shout out, Natalie. It's funny because, you know, it might make people feel, uh, be uncomfortable to others. But you would say as such people that they are reasonably well integrated and there will be a, a light in their eyes. If this is not the case, the personality will be scattered and the person will feel very um, every obstacle as great a hurdle to be overcome. Instead of being uh, just the next thing to deal with, you know, it, it's insurmountable to them. Okay? There are many ways of being less than our best, and they are all a part of being human. However, when people start to behave like the negative of the uh, opposite of their sun sign, it shows that they are having a difficulty um, of being themselves um, and they have a difficulty operating from the heart. Okay? And that's what, you know, that's that's what, those are some of the things that we want to overcome and these are some of the things that we want to uh, strengthen um, and work on, right? Um, I mean, because it, it really is, is, is very important. It's not like this is not this is not important stuff. Um, the opposite sign will be behind the earth and is sometimes called the earth sign. The earth sign, what it does, it indicates the personality without a spirit. So it, it, it's a sign of darkness. Okay? Because the sun brings the radiance. So the opposite sign will be behind the earth, the sun, the earth. For instance, an Aries person who isn't expressing force, energy, aggressiveness, or impatience, who is not starting new projects with great zeal, will tend to seem wishy-washy and decisive, and indecisive, um, i.e. a negative Libra. A Pisces person who is not uh, being sensitive 
looking after someone else in some way or expressing emotions or reflecting the emotions of others will often appear to be a cold perfectionist with a tendency to criticize, i.e. negative Virgo. Come on up in here now, somebody. I'm preaching to you. Come on now. Woo. Y'all know who can criticize better than a Virgo. Any Virgos out there? Why don't y'all let yourself be known? If you got the guts. People who are expressing their negative opposite state are very possibly out of touch with their sun sign. And if so, if that is the case, Life is going to be much more difficult for them than necessary. Great help can be given in the chart reading by showing in their sensitive way how these people can change their behavior or thought processes with very slightly tipping the balance back toward their own sign. Okay? Those are exercises in that. You know, you can get help with that. Getting back to your true form. When we are moved to help our friends feel better, we tend to go about it in such ways that make us feel better. Think about it. But each sun sign has its own needs and what makes them feel better, and which may not necessarily be uh, what makes you feel better. Now, you might know what to do for another Aries and be sure with it. <laughs> if you know the sun signs of your friends, you can, in daily conversation, encourage them to be themselves, their sign more. Such a change will naturally lead to behavior that opens the door to their own spirit, which can then express again through their personality. Their light comes on again, and life starts to flow more easily. Okay? So, you want to get people to act in their authenticity it's so important it's so important y'all i ain't playing the following are some of the negative traits of opposite signs accompanied by a few possible ways to bring people back to their own sun sign okay many more ways could be found it takes not only knowing something about the signs but also a good knowledge of the individual character to find the right way for each person. Now, of course, we know personal experiences and environments have a lot to do with the way we perceive information and filter it. But y'all know what I'm saying. This is this be the blueprint. Also, um, uh, 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 in, in other words, okay, let me read this part. Let me go right here again. It takes not only knowing something of the signs, but also a good knowledge of the individual character to find the right way for each person. The wrong way, though, is just going to make the matters worse. Okay, so you need to know what sign you are. When you say you got a friend, you should know your friend. Your lover, you should know your lover. What make them tick? How to approach? I mean, it's not being off tantric. I mean, it's not being um off center because you want to go the extra step to figure out how to positively um relate to an individual. Because we all uh, receive messages differently. We all do, you know. Anyway, um, Aries, when afraid to act or staggering from a perceived attack, can become the negative Libra indecisive, worry, inactive, going on about different possibilities without enthusiasm. Yes, but now that, and that's exactly how I get when I'm not motivated. That's exactly what I feel when I'm in my depression or I'm not in my um, uh, 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 fiery state when I'm not in, at my best. It's exactly I need when I need encouragement. Those are exactly the um, stimuli that go through me. I know it. Because I know me. To bring them back to their Aries heart center, just say to them things like, just do what you want to do. Do it your way, Khadija. You can do it. Those things that take me all the way over the top. Just those little ways. It's the way I am wired to communicate. 
Okay, what about y'all? Do y'all know what or uh, and um how you receive information? Do you know what feels better going down your filter when you hear it? Can you identify that in yourself? You know, and for all my family out there, you know I love y'all. And I, I if you don't mind, I would like for y'all to um let me know what your sign is. Let me know if you first of all, you know, if you don't agree with astrology or anything, I know you won't even make a comment at all. Cause it's kinda hard for y'all to give up some of y'all information. Y'all don't even want to share sometimes. Some of y'all are very um uh, uh open with sharing. Some of y'all just listen to videos and be like, man, yeah, I can't. But if you have any kind of knowledge of this, I really wish you would participate and, and, and um let me know what turns you on. What rocks your boat? What sign are you? Because, you know, when Tauruses, when they're feeling unsteady and uncertain or unsafe or having lost a treasure possession, they can become a negative Scorpio, angry, seething, hurtful statements, blaming, vengeful, etc. That's a negative Scorpio. Mm. Okay. Now, to bring them back to their Taurus Heart Center, suggest a walk in the park together, maybe a meal out, a day in the country, or a massage. Right? Okay. Now, you, you know, these, these are things that you can break the cycle with. How about um, uh, um, when we start talking about um, a Gemini? <laughs> when they feel unable to think or communicate, um, they can become a negative Sagittarian. Head in the clouds, won't be bothered to explain, witty jokes at another's expense, wanting to get away, etc. Yeah. That's for you, Rita. To bring them back to their Gemini heart, um, ask them, what have you heard about something? You know, just make something, you know, whatever. Something topical. Have uh, you read anything interesting lately? Or what's the problem? One of my best friends are Gemini. And um, that is exactly how I redirect them. Exactly how I redirect them. This is amazing. I'll be like, girl, what you heard about today? What you doing today? You doing anything interesting? That's the boat for them. Some people you they don't want they don't want you coming from there. They really don't. Oh, this is gonna stop. 